Let, let's talk about this bo pan, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's talk about this bo pan. So here's one thing, too, that I found to be quite shocking with this. For, well, actually, there's a couple things I found to be a little bit shocking. The first thing, though, this thing is almost $300. Yeah. That's quite a quite a big price tag. Quite a big price tag. But when, hair. When you look into, like, everything she comes with, yeah, I don't know where that money's going. Yeah, really? Like, that's a... I don't know. It's a hefty price tag, all right? Like, I think she was more expensive than the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian figure, which is just a bigger version of this, but, like, has, like, more stuff. Yeah. Like, she doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, really. So I find it to be, like, she, I mean, she has, like, the diorama piece, sure. I, I, she's got some stuff, but, like, it's nothing, I don't know. Yeah, that it's was nothing to write home about. Like, yeah, 285 was just pretty expensive. I think Mando, Beskar Mando with Grogu, the deluxe version, with, like, the stand for Grogu and everything, that's only, like, 310 or 320 or something. So when this is, like, 30 bucks cheaper than that, that's pretty expensive for one thing, in my opinion. Yeah, so that was the first thing I was just like that kind of caught me off guard. I was I was not expecting Bo Katan, who's smaller than the heavy infantry, heavy infantry figure. You know, less materials comes with less things. Yeah. Same with like comes with less things in Beskar Mando, but it's like more expensive. That was surprising. Now the other thing, granted, like a, I I think the figure looks great though. Like, I think it looks good. Especially, like, I think the helmet, paint helmet job, look good. looks awesome. Looks great. She really, it, it, it's the only female Mandalorian you can really get, hot toys-wise. Yep. So she's got that going for her. Um, I think, yeah, again, though, it, it looks great. I like the, I like the faux leather. Faux leather's great. On the belt, that looks awesome. The chest piece looks good. The blues look good. Like, the, the weathering on the chest piece. Also looks good. Yeah, I prefer. I like. I like this. Uh, the other like Mando comes with this as well, and I think Boba comes with it too. The the stable line. You remember the line, the grapple shit that I got with Batman. That's just like yeah. like that. Ah. Lasted. Yeah, that shit pissed me off. They, they give you one single hard one like this. That's what she said. They give you <laughs> that's one what she said. single one for you to actually pose with. Like they all just. It's, it's so annoying. So I'm glad she comes with that. That's good. It all looks good. Like I, I'm like the only thing I said. I need to. It. I don't know if this is accurate to the show either. By the way, but she has the uh, like the hummingbird, the missile whistling thingies. birds. Yeah, the whistling birds. Oh. She never used those in the show. She may have had them there the whole time. I have no idea. Yeah. But I noticed that that was there. So if uh, if accurate, cool that they have it. They never never made any indication of her having those in the show though. Yeah. But so that's this is another thing I noticed, and she also has like the Ezio a little knife, yeah, on her gauntlet. I mean, Ezio's is underneath, I know, but I'm just saying it's still it's the same concept, like which is kind of sure. cool. But here's where we get to the thing. All right, here's the thing: the head sculpt. Yeah. Okay. Now it's a good head sculpt, and it look. I asked my wife because my wife know my wife is familiar with Katie Sackoff. Okay, she watched her in Longmire. I mean, she was in Battlestar. We get it. All right, that looks like Katie Sackoff. My wife. I said I asked my wife. I just showed her a picture of one of the head sculpts here, and was like, "Who is this?" And she said, "My girl from Longmire." And I was like, "Yes, it is Katie Sackoff." But then I said, or, I said, or, is it this? Let me pull this up. I should have had this up. Oh, this gosh. Would have, this would have been a much better reveal. I said, or, pulling it up. <laughs> I'm pulling this it up. is the weirdest comparison. It's true, though. Mm. Hold on. Okay, so is it Katie Sackoff or is it Buffalo Bill <laughs> from Silence of the Lambs? Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, hold on, let me pull up the picture I sent in Discord. Yeah, I was going to say that was a different. 
No, it's the same picture. It's just I, I, I made it a collage or whatever. Oh. So you could see it, what I was talking about. Where did I put it? Isn't it? There we go. Look at that. It's a similar resemblance, I would say. It's, dude, if, you, if I were to buy this figure, if I were to buy a Buffalo Bill figure, and you gave me this head sculpt with it, the Katie Sackhoff head sculpt, I wouldn't for be you. mad about it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd be like, yeah, that's close. Like, that looks like Buffalo Bill wearing the wig and stuff, I guess, right? Like, yeah. Because that's what they got wrong. And I got, like, they got the jawline completely wrong with this. Like, and it's good. Like, it does look good. But, like, this is Katie Sackhoff here. And, like, her, she's got a very angular face. Yeah, they made her face too rounded, and the jaw sticks out too far. The chin sticks out a little bit too far, and it's too rounded. It needs to be a little bit more narrow. Like you know what I mean? Because like this, you come on, man. That looks like Buffalo Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the first thing I saw. Like, yeah, I know the nose is different, but like, it's, they're not trying to make Buffalo Bill for God's sake. No. It just looks like Buffalo Bill. So like, I know the nose is different. Like, I know it's different. Everyone knows it's different because they're not trying to make Buffalo Bill, damn it. Yeah. yeah. But it's not accurate to Katie Sackhoff either. Like, no. like the likeness is, it's it's close. It's close. You can still, I'd like, would I say it looks more like Katie Sackhoff than Buffalo Bill? Sure. Oh, it, definitely. It definitely does. But I can't help but see Buffalo Bill when I look at it. You know, and I will say, like, I did look up, there was a, what was that picture of Katie Sackhoff as Bo-Katan? Like, when you look at this picture, it kind of looks like the, like, the thing, like, it, like, yeah. it's close, it's close. Yeah, okay. I'll you get know what I mean? Like, it's not. The hair, man. The hair's a little off, yeah. The hair looks huge on the figure. Yeah, they make the hair really big. But, like, I will say, like, this one, like when you compare these, it looks... He's still, they made her, like, a little bit too manly looking. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Like, you know, like, uh, that's really, like, it's there's just something, something's off with it. I'll give you that. It, it's the chin, the, the jawline, like, it's just a little bit too rounded, not, not angular enough. I don't know, like... When you look at the Bo-Katan version of Katie Sackhoff, it's pretty close. At the same time, it's not the best. No. It's not the, it could definitely be better. That's all I would say. Yeah. Like, you know, it That's looks good. Right. I can totally tell it's her. Yeah, it's like definitely Bo-Katan. But... Yeah, it's definitely Bo-Katan. It definitely resembles Katie Sackhoff. I just, it's just a little bit too manly. Like, especially this picture, dude. Very masculine. This is a very masculine looking Give her Katie goatee. Sackhoff. Like, look at that. Looks nothing like this picture of her, like, at all. Like, this one looks com entirely different. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, this looks like Buffalo Bill. It looks a lot more feminine in that bottom picture. Yeah. 100%. That was the only kind of drawback, the only negative. I solved this. Also, the other thing, too, was, and this is what I was telling you and John, I'm kind of surprised they came out with this Bo-Katan figure, like, so quickly. Yeah, they like, really they, did. They just announced this, and they just announced the uh, Boba Fett one, and, like, they're already, like, up for order. They've had... The Clone Wars Obi Wan, the Kit Fisto, the just the regular the battle droid from the prequels, uh, Padme. Like they've had, there's been a ton of like Clone Wars era stuff. This was one of the reasons I decided to to do Clone Wars as the theme I was going for was because they had a bunch of them in production, like in pre production. They had announced a bunch. 